La la la. I'm Kezzy. What's up, party animals? My name is Kezzy, and today I wanted to talk about DJing. Now, not just DJing, but I wanted to talk about the Akai Force. I'll link a video in the description of something that I saw called Hybrid DJing with the Akai Force, and it's posted by Akai Official. And it's so cool. The size and shape and feel of the Akai Force feels right at home next to a set of CDJs, or in my case, the XDJ RX2. So, backstory about me. Ultimately, I want to DJ at a furry con. Like, that's my, that's my grand goal here, and by the end of 2022, I want to feel confident enough on the decks to f submit an application for some local con in 2023. I don't know what it'll be, but I just want to submit one. That's my goal, is to feel the confidence to submit. That sounds kinky. Anyway, <laughs> the Akai Force adds so much. So my goal at the con isn't to lug around this big DJ unit, bring a laptop and stuff like that. Like, I don't want to do that because I'm a fursuiter. I have to already bring my entire fursuit to wherever I'm going. So bringing all my DJ gear along with it, not fun. But the Akai Force has... It's so powerful. It's hard to describe the sheer strength that it has in, 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 in DJing and in, in everything. Like, I can write a whole album on it. I really need to learn the, the thing better just overall. But that's the thing. I want to DJ at a furry con and I want to use the Akai Force for it. I even bought like a whole box for it so that it's really easy to set up. This isn't like a laptop and a bunch of other stuff that you got to put together. The CDJ or the, uh, the Akai Force is just straight up basic stuff. It's really fast, plug and play. And at cons, they're gonna have CDJs set up already. That's like 90% of what they do. So I'll have a USB stick and my force, and I wanna be able to throw down as hard as possible. However, however, the problem that I face is that I want to be able to use it. It's got so much potential. It can play loops. It can play beats. I can finger drum on it. I can loop things that come into it. I can do like anything you could possibly think of. And I can't think of anything. One of the things that I've been using for it the most is risers. Like the woo drop the bass kind of shit. And like beats. Adding, so one of the, <laughs> one of the things that actually blows my mind and comes in so clutch is being able to just have the same beat pattern playing when you transition between two songs. You can just add a beat, you can make a beat fat, fatter if it's already playing. Like there's a lot you can do and it's super cool. Now, I am, like I said, I'm at a loss for what to do though, because just using it to play drums feels kind of useless. And quick, quick side, quick side, Akai, please add a way to like sh briefly adjust the tempo of a song. One thing I have to do constantly is I'll open up the tempo menu and I have to adjust the BPM in a way, a lot like writing the pitch. So old school DJs, when they actually DJed on vinyl, they would hold the pitch knob and like just keep playing with it until the songs were beat matched. I have to do that in a digital sense where I change the actual tempo and then change it back to where I need it to be. And it requires such a weird amount of precision and it sucks. It really sucks. I want something better. Ableton has it, and I used it on Ableton. Ugh, oh, feels like butter. So, Akai, please, add just a slow the song down while this button is being pressed button. Please. But I'm coming to you guys with, with, with a question. 
what do you think I should use it for? Give me any idea, because there are no bad ideas. There's ideas I might not use, but anything you can think of to use on the Akai Force, which is like basically just a DAW in a box, I want to hear your input. I want to hear what you would do if you had two decks and something that can do anything. What would you add to like an already playing song to make it better? And I guess that's about it. Um, so yeah. Oh, by the way, um, I, they didn't want me to make a video about it. Check out my new icon. Um, I love it. It is so good. Oh my God, the icon, someone just made it for me. They were like, hey, here's some fan art. Um, don't make a video about it. And I'm like, bet, but also it's so good. So let me know if you think the new icon looks great because I think it looks phenomenal. Um, and yeah, I ask you, what would you do with the Akai Force? Because I'm at a loss. Um, and that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.